Hi friends, welcome back to Means of Escape. And in today's episode, I wanted to show you 10 RV storage solutions that you can find under $25. So our first one, um, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it's um, it's a container just for collecting grease. When you're cooking, um, you do not want to obviously pour the liquid grease down your drain. You probably don't want to do that in your house anyway. But um, for us, uh, this container it comes with it comes as the container, um, and then it also you can buy more of these, but it comes with these. Um, uh, inserts and I don't know if you can see but it's frozen in here but that's the point like it's these containers these little inserts that go into this this box and you just pour the grease in the box and you stick it in your freezer and once the grease is frozen it pops out you close it up and then you toss the bag away and that's just a way that you store your grease so it doesn't go down the sink and it doesn't stay on your counter or get really messy or anything like that so storage solution for kitchen grease next storage item for the kitchen it comes in this sweet fabric bag is from homelux theory different sizes of silicone baggies um, we don't like to use the plastic bags it just creates a lot of trash um, but they open up they're really big like these are this is the smallest this is the medium size and then I have one even bigger that's in the fridge right now holding grapes but um, they're washable they come with these um, sticks that just zip up zip them up on the side here and then they stay fresh and that's just helpful so it doesn't create trash when if you're using too much um, like plastic Ziploc type baggies, um, but we use these a lot for food. Item number three, which is one of my favorites. I've talked about them a little bit when I talked about organizing our RV kitchen, but we have these, I just took it off of my um, oven, my stove top here, but um, they are magnetic uh, spice containers. There's like a sprinkle, whole part and then there's a whole pour part that you can choose from uh, when you're using the spice containers and they come with labels I don't know if you can see that but it says cilantro on it um, I have the pack of 12 um, that comes and they're under 20 bucks with the 12 pack um, but they're magnetic so they sit right over my stove and they're just easy for easy reach for cooking, easy reach for um, if I want to add something to my plate when I'm eating dinner, stuff like that. And it's just easier than going back and forth into the pantry. Another organizational tool that is essential um, for whether you're living in an RV, an apartment, a dorm, anything, um, but command hooks for sure. You want to put them all over your house, all over your uh, walls. Um, they're so handy. We found these ones that are a little bit nicer um, at Lowe's, but I've also found them on Amazon, so I'll put a link below in the description. Um, they just um, look a little bit nicer, more homey, and they match our color scheme a lot better. They're just so easy for like I hang my purse, my hats, my robes, stuff like that all over the house. So it just depends on where you want to hang stuff. I mentioned this before in my RV kitchen episode, but I love these um, clips that just stick on to your uh, doors or where, wherever you want them. But for especially for like the McCormick brand spices, it fits really well. Uh, they just clip, clip right in there and uh, Again, I use these specifically for spices that I don't use on a regular basis. Uh, and then I have the magnet spice ones over here by my stove for stuff I use every day. Um, and it's just a good way to separate them and um, it keeps them out of the way of any surface area and just um, less clutter. The next thing that I have are like these grip sticks that um, you can put on any plastic bag, like this is cereal, but you can put them on chips, on cereal, um, instead of like these normal bag clips that like they don't cover the whole thing, it 
it's get it goes stale faster so it's not a very fresh solution uh, but instead um, this is a pretty big size one but um, I have ones in various sizes but like for this big guy once you get it on it you just zip it up like that and it covers it keeps it nice and airtight and if you drop it it's not gonna spill okay so we're in the bathroom and what I'm trying to show you is this little black box right here uh, this I don't know if you can tell what it is but it is to contain your toothbrushes when you're not using them there is not a lot of counter space right here all I really have is space to put soap and uh, maybe uh, something else on the other side I don't know lotion or something but there's really not a whole lot of surface area here um, so I want to keep this area clean so we found these on Amazon it just opens up and you stick your toothbrush right in there closes up and it just hangs during the day so it just stays there and it just keeps the surface area clear and we just thought it was really cool <laughs> so we got one and we really like it when you're living in an RV, you have to really learn how to be creative and work with your own space. Um, for us, one of the more creative things, I think, that uh, my husband was able to make for me is um, a frame for all of my jewelry. My earrings, my necklaces, my bracelets, stuff like that, all on the wall to save surface area some anywhere else in the RV. I just love it. So he found this um, on, uh, he didn't buy it, we made it. So um, it just depends on where you can find the supplies, but it's just made out of wood. And then he found this material at Lowe's. It's just got a bunch of holes in it, um, but you can find it at any Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware store, anything like that. Um, but he just put it together. Um, he also found like hooks, like I got to pick out the design and stuff. So again, custom, make it how you want it. Um, but it just fits like any earring can just slip right in there. It rides when we travel, it rides like this. I don't take any of this down when we travel. It stays on the wall securely the whole time. Um, it just works really well. And it's kind of, it's one of my friends saw it and says, oh, it's like you can rearrange it. It's like, uh, art on your wall you can make it look how you want it to so i guess you're right it's art living art and i get to change it every day every time i use my jewelry so again you can um, use your imagination um, your space is only limited by your creativity and your imagination so this is just one extra tip that i really found to love um, and just make it your own Okay friends, let's just come to terms with the fact that you're more than likely going to have to forego the coffee table when going tiny. It's just not going to happen and you're not going to have the space. Uh, so one thing that I found on Amazon are these um, couch coasters. They are weighted at the bottom. You just flip them over on your couch armrest and your drinks fit perfectly over each side of your couch, uh, your couch armchair armrest. We have two on each side. You want to get two more for the guest room, but it's just the perfect solution to having drinks on the couch and not wanting to hold them the whole time. Um, they come with these slide outs. So the inserts make it, um, fit perfectly for like a normal soda can. So that's the soda can insert. And then there's a slit in the back here for mugs so you can put your coffee set your coffee right in there and it's just perfect uh, they come in various colors but we just found these as like the most perfect solution to a problem we didn't even consider until after the fact so another win um, with being creative for a living tiny one other storage tool that we consistently use are mason jars. I know that can sound pretty scary um, for people that want to avoid glass at all costs when RVing. And true, like you can, if you're not storing them properly, that can end in disaster, but we've never had a problem, knock on wood. But um, it really depends on how you store them. We have enough of them that we store them in our uh, cabinet, in our uh, pantry 
um, pretty tight together that they travel really well. We've never had one shatter, we've never had one crack, and I've heard of other people say the same thing as well. As far as uh, storage, if you store them correctly, then you'll be okay. But we use it for a lot of um, our more obscure dry goods, like our cornmeal, our masa, um, some stuff that we don't use a whole lot, but we need them when we need them. So it's always good to have mason jars. You can buy them pretty much anywhere, like almost by the dozen, and they're pretty affordable. Um, recently, we've been actually buying um, some like local honey that like comes in mason jars, so we haven't been having to buy them. So that's just a fun tip if you know of any um, local honey vendor or anyone else that sells jams or honey anything, buy the mason jar. It's an added bonus. You can support local and you can get a mason jar. So there you go. Here's a bonus storage tool that I use. It is more expensive um, because it comes in a set, but I use OXO containers. I love them so much. They um, ride pretty decent. Um, I take them off of there because they're when they're when I travel because um, there's nothing holding them up there. But I keep them in a crate and they travel really well. And um, you can just fill it up. You just cover it up. You press the button and that seals it airtight. So they're not going to go anywhere and they're just really well organized and I can't get enough of them. So bonus tool. So that's it. That's 10 RV storage solutions under 25 bucks. Hope this was helpful to some of you who are curious, but maybe still on the fence about going tiny. Um, let us know if these were helpful. Um, do you have any other ideas? We would love to add some more storage solutions to our space. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course share. Um, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.